here we are on another birding adventure. Uh, I'm with uh, Pete and Paul. We're in a place called Queensborough, which is on the Isle of Sheppey, in a fantastic little bed and breakfast uh, called the uh, Queen Philippa. Uh, I'll show you the breakfast we're having at the moment. Enjoying that, Pete? Uh, it's not a bad start to the day, is it? Typical British start to the day. Uh, we've all gone for the big breakfast. So we're going to finish up here and then we're going to go off to Elmley Nature Reserve and I'll tell you about that in a while. So yeah. boys, Pete, enjoy your breakfast? Lovely mate. That's good, wasn't it? Good way, good way to start the day. Fantastic place, well the uh, Queen Philippa bed and breakfast. I know you left your tomatoes, huh? Tomatoes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I noticed you didn't leave much, did you boys? Look at that stream. Look at the pile of crockery you've got in front of you, Pete. Eh? Look at the pile of crockery you've got in front of you. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. But I'd recommend this, uh, the uh, Queen Philippa bed and breakfast in Queensborough. Absolutely fantastic value. And right on the doorstep of Elmley Nature Reserve, where we're going very shortly. So we'll take you there in a bit. boys we're just getting ready to go to Elmley Nature Reserve putting our uh, boots on our waterproofs it's a lovely sunny day today but also it's uh, really cold so looking forward to a, a great session at Elmley when we get there we'll talk about uh, what species we're looking for today okay let's go we're off. yeah So here we are, we are at Elmley Nature Reserve. It's a private reserve run by a family of farmers, I believe. About 3,300 acres, set on the Isle of uh, Sheppey, Isle of Sheppey in Kent, North Kent. Uh, it's a wonderful site. I just turned the camera around and have a bit of a scan.
So Emily's uh, run by a family, it's a family farm, opened up to the public into, you know, uh, sort of conservation, maintaining this habitat for the, for the birds and for the animals. Uh, we've, we've already, or well, someone saw a stoat earlier here, uh, the marsh harrier, uh, someone reported a hen harrier also, so it is a fantastic spot. Uh, but as I say, we're here for the shorties and uh, whilst we've seen a couple already, there could be up to, you know, 10 to a dozen shorties here. So fingers crossed and, uh, you know, we'll take as many good shots as we can. Let's, let's see them first, that'll be good. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, uh, what, approaching uh, 2.30. And uh, I think they begin to show uh, really well at about uh, three o'clock onwards. Uh, they're crepuscular, which means they, they tend to hunt at, in the twilight hours, so early morning, uh, you know, dusk and dawn basically, uh, so late afternoon as well. So we're, we're at the late afternoon session here at Emily, and uh, we've already seen a few flying around. I think there's been four out in the, uh, in the fields. If I just reverse this, and uh, I'll show you what I mean. So they've been flying around uh, these fields here. Uh, there's some rough pasture, rough ground, rough grassland. You know, perfect, perfect environment for short-eared owls. Uh, mainly hunt voles, but actually lots of birds as well. People may not realise how many birds they do do take, smaller passerines, etc. So anything coastal like the Isle of Sheppey is ideal for a short-eared short owl. Uh, right, so we're going to hang tight, uh, see what we can see, and hopefully take some video and some shots as well. Okay. So just to let you know what I've got with me today, I've got the Sony A1 with a 600 f4 and a 1.4 teleconverter on. Uh, shooting wide open at 5.6 with the teleconverter on, probably looking at uh, 1 12th of, of a second to 1 16th, depending on the light, might even go a bit quicker than that. Uh, but uh, fingers crossed, we'll, we'll get some shorties soon. The crowds are beginning to gather, got a few people up along the fence line, uh, just waiting for the shorties to appear. So fingers crossed. Here comes Lucas, somebody I've met today, a local a local to this patch, and uh, he's been giving us some great advice on where to stand and what, what, what we can expect here. Hi Lucas, how are you? You good? good how are you? Say hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so how often do you come here then? You? Um, I've been here a few times right. on weekends. So do you live locally, is that? Uh, not really, no, just Greenwich Park, so not too far All away. right, so in town, sort of um, toward up the Thames, basically. Exactly, exactly. So just come up here because this is one of the closest places yeah, yeah. Uh, where you get to see short ears. Um, there was a great, great place last year. Um, All right, just yeah. Just next to Waltham Abbey. Um, yeah, okay. Park. That's sort of north of, exactly. yeah, north of London, yeah. Um, yeah, that was perfect because we had three or four short eared owls there for the best part of the whole winter. Brilliant. Really nice I say uh, the soldier plane is normally really good. It's like a valley, so you can stand on and pretty much get great, great backgrounds all the time. That's perfect. And they come really close because mm -hmm. a valley feeds them past, yes. you know. So yes. It's a really good spot. No, that is very handy, yeah. I mean, that's kind of one of the downsides to this place is that it's obviously so open. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you may get them really close or you may get them really far, and there's no telling really yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah.
that's it. Time time to go home, I think. We're, the light's going. We've seen um, probably nine, I think, short-eared owls. Some of them distant, but, you know, nine short-eared owls quartering, coming out of the roost and then flying off to, to hunt for the rest of the day, no doubt. Um, so there it is. Uh, great site, Elmley Nature Reserve. Well worth a visit if you're into bird photography. Uh, that's, that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.